what kind of hell would you like to um, see coming your way? I honestly would hope that like, you know, the mayor and like other like people and there'd be more resources in the city to help us and not push us away. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your host, Tak Sokos, coming to you from the City Hall here in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Today I'm doing a follow-up to the story of homelessness in Hamilton which I did a couple of months ago but before I continue I just want to thank you guys for visiting my channel once again please continue to watch my videos and continue to like subscribe and share the videos This young lady is in a dilemma. With winter just around the corner, chances are that she will spend the freezing cold winter nights in this tent. She is one of many homeless people facing a gloomy future as they grapple with the problem of housing shortage, living in tents dotted around the city of Hamilton. The problem of homelessness in Hamilton has a long history dating back to the early 1980s and the mayor and her team at City Hall seem to have run out of gas to tackle the problem. I have not been able to get a comment from the townhouse despite relentless efforts to get hold of the mayor, Andrea Holworth. Officials at the city hall kept referring me from one person to the other, perhaps an indication that there is no solution in sight to the problem of homelessness in Hamilton. During the just ended summer season, I posted a video on this channel highlighting the extent of the problem of homelessness in Hamilton. Let me play a clip from that video which I posted on July 1, 2023. The mayor was not available for comment. It is estimated that over 1,500 individuals are experiencing homelessness in Hamilton. The majority of them are found here, right in the mayor's own backyard, in a parking lot behind the city hall. Not long ago, these individuals were scattered across the city, but it would appear they were rounded up and brought here, away from public scrutiny. Today, three months down the line, I am visiting the city hall again 
and the mayor's backyard has been cleared. The tents are nowhere to be seen. They have vanished overnight. Did the mayor find these people alternative accommodation? Or have they been relocated to some other place where the mayor does not have to see them when she looks out the window from her high-rise office at City Hall? These are the questions I want to put across to the mayor. But unfortunately, the people's mayor seems not to be accessible. I have been chasing this story for the past three months and the mayor seems to be ever more elusive. I take a short drive around the city and about three kilometers away from the mayor's office, this is what I see. A cluster of tents on an open space behind some tall trees. Were these people brought here from the mayor's backyard? Your guess is as good as mine. I am not able to tell how many people live here, but the number could be significant. Would you like to tell us how long you have been living out here in the tent? Uh, I've been out here for five years. Five years? Yeah. Okay. Would you like to tell us the reason for you being out here? Um, family situations back when COVID had started. Back when COVID had started, there were some family situations and basically my dad kicked me and my brother out. Okay, so how do you find it out here? I've adapted, but obviously at first it was very hard because I was taking care of my brother. But you adapt. You get used to it. Okay, now in the winter, mm -hmm. winter is just around the corner. Yes. How are you going to make it um you just make it it's horrible it's the worst part of it everyone dreads it and there's not that many shelters or anything available no matter what even drop-in centers they're all full we can never really get in anywhere so we break into stairwells and just try and find anywhere that's warm but mm. so when you say find somewhere where it's warm where is that um, apartment building stairwells, we break the doors open and we stay in the stairwells until security comes and kicks us out or abandoned houses or we sleep under tarps or we'll go to the train station where it's open 24 hours and if we are lucky maybe one night we can get into a drop-in center. Okay, how about uh, washroom and uh, where do you get your bath? We don't. We use a bathroom in a public washroom if we're lucky, if we're allowed to. Okay, yeah. You don't uh, get a bath or a shower or something? No. Honestly, I don't remember the last time I showered in a real shower. Mm. Okay, so what kind of help would you like to um, see coming your way? I honestly would hope that like, you know, the mayor and like other like people and there'd be more resources in the city to help us and not push us away and like just more of like the, com like the community be more involved and understand like we're still people, we still have feelings and like we just need help, we didn't ask for this, we didn't want this and we're still just trying to make by each day and we just want some help, more resources, anything. Okay. How about food? Uh, food? Where do you get your food from? Um, I mean, there's a food truck that just came by right now. I got a freezer burnt PB&J and water and uh, I think some dessert thing. But honestly, I, um, I only really eat when like Social Navigator comes through. And Social Navigator is like um, kind of like a group of people that work with like the city and outreach and they give out snack bags. Okay. So that's if you see them. So maybe like um, you're lucky like maybe three times a week. Mm -hmm. Do you have a job by any chance? No, I, I don't know. I can't work. I'm on ODSP.
would you like uh, to get a job if I somebody to, offered you a job? Um, I used to work, but I'm on ODSP. I'm on disability, and I can't work anymore. Guys, if you found this video interesting, please like, share, and subscribe so that you may continue to receive exciting content from me. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching this video. But before I go away, I just want to give a special shout out to those that are visiting my channel for the first time. Thank you for deciding to watch my video. If you are visiting for the first time, please consider to subscribe.